robots provide free labor and we're questioning if we could use that free labor that robots give us to construct meaningful places for us to live almost for free. My name is Jill Redson, I'm an architect and co-founder of the Design Computation Lab here in London together with Manuel Jimenez and Molly Claypool. Our students are creating prototypes that are extremely cheap and fast to build and that can really challenge the, the way the construction industry is working today. So they are basically developing uh, pieces that work almost like Lego blocks. They work out the computational assemblies for these pieces to work in a certain way and to establish structures uh, that are stable and that create uh, spaces that we've never seen before. Future uh, development of this uh, software would include the creation of uh, larger prototypes, so we can uh, print like uh, walls or uh, parts of buildings that then could also be uh, robotically assembled. Robots can basically pick up these Lego-like pieces and assemble them into really different shaded and uh, special forms like this chair or this one. But we don't only you know, stay on the scale of, of, of a chair, but we're also questioning how this could become or architectural. So for example, these building blocks are made of concrete. They've been developed together with Lafarge Holson, which is the biggest concrete producer in the world. And they're essentially uh, prefabricated Lego-like building blocks specifically designed for robots. So robots can pick up these blocks at these gripping points and then assemble it with the steel joints into a variety of structures. So the lab is also trying to uh, demystify uh, technology in, in construction as something that is thought to be expensive and, and not really accessible. In fact, we actually work with uh, very, very cheap materials and very cheap methods, and the intelligence of the, this architecture relies on uh, the way we compute it and design with it. We're actually interested to look at robots not just as um, you know, machines that are taking jobs, but we're actually interested in looking what they can actually give back to, to the world and to people and to our cities. Traditionally, if you'd want to make something, you need what you call a very long production chain. So you need a lot of processes which need a lot of capital to, to, to build something. And what the digital and what robots essentially do is that you can manufacture something very quickly with just one machine. So you could build an entire house with just one robot or with one type of robot. So you don't need an entire factory, but anyone with a robot could essentially start their own small factory and start to build things. And that's, I think, one of the most important aspects of the digital.